T C K back with another one, man. Hey man, say man. Y'all already know we back. We back. You feel me? About to use the bevel auto one clipper from fade to finish. You know what I'm saying? We about to go ahead and use that thing. See how we're doing this self cut. Let's go ahead and move the camera over here. Self cut this thing. You know this the before from fade to finish. You feel me? We better go ahead and use that. I need to cut severely. Hair looking like, ugh. We better go see how this clipper hit. Getting this full self cut. I'm gonna be using the T-blade and I'm gonna be using the clipper blade, obviously, to cut the hair down, because it's the only guards that actually fit this blade. Yeah. So, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get to this haircut. I'm not gonna do a tutorial. Let me go ahead and put that blade back down. We gonna go ahead and get this uh, this haircut going, man. And uh, yeah, cause y'all, that's enough of the intro. I'm not gonna do this as a tutorial. I know I've been doing already a lot of talking in this. I'm not gonna do this as a tutorial. I'm gonna do this as a um, time lapse, right? I'm gonna let y'all know how it went. I know y'all probably wanna see me go like. Zzz. Sorry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste all that much film. Okay? I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, I'm not gonna do all that. We're gonna get to the 10 minute mark. Cause if y'all think I'm gonna make videos and not be 10 minutes so I can put my, my ads in there, you gotta get it messed up unless you got YouTube premium, then I you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Let's go ahead and get it. New bevel clipper. Let's go.
Alright, so I just want y'all to see. Do y'all see this taper? Do y'all see this taper, bro? Do you see it, bro? Flawless. Flawless taper, bro. You see? Look at the taper, bro. Oh my. Oh, blended. Super blended. And that's because I know this is mid video. I'm going to try. Hopefully, I don't forget about this. But like I said, every one of these, this is. I'm, I'm gonna talk about this clipper specifically in another in a whole another video because y'all ain't ready for this one. But look, precision, precision, millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. I had somebody complain in another video. They was like, "Oh, it's too slow." It's not supposed. Y'all seen this precision, bro? Or you can go all the way. It's going too slow, or you can go one by one. Precision, man, precision. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Now, let's go ahead and finish up this haircut. I'm gonna do the other side. I ain't gonna record that. I'm gonna just do the other side, and I'm gonna let y'all see me do the back. And I mean, y'all get it. I may even not show y'all the back. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. So I want y'all to see this taper real quick before I put the line on it. Oh, it's a flawless side right there. It's the back. Got that first brush in it. Back. Side. You know what I'm saying? Like, can y'all see the side? Like, you can. The side right there. Hopefully that's some focus. Oh.
We back. Haircut, no enhancements. No enhancements. I never put no. I never put no alcohol in my face yet. No aftershave or nothing. There's a the back side. See the top. You know. So I cut. And I cut it with a one and a half. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cut it with a one, and I put it all the way on 2.5. Oh, hold on, my fingers. That's how much I had it at with the one on there. All right, so reviewing this clipper for a self cut. This clipper definitely cuts really good. It it gets so precise because you can do each millimeter, like point, point. That's like super, you can't get that with a regular click lever. You can't get in between the between the between. You know what I'm saying? You only get four, so that's pretty much me going 2.5, 2, 1.5, 0. You know what I'm saying? So, if I was going between, but, boy. It did take me a little longer to do this cut just because I was like messing around with this scene. Like, you know, I was really like filling it out, going like, so precisely on my taper, as y'all can see, I feel like this, this is my, the side can taper good. This side, I feel like, that's yeah, the good side. And this side, this other side is always hard to do because the hair grows, let me see, it grows this way, so I gotta, it's always giving me a hard time. But, and then obviously the back. Now, if I was doing someone else's hair, this clipper would not be that much of a hassle to like, Cut. It has. It does have a little bit of weight to it. A little bit of weight. I can. It has a little bit of weight to it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But it's not like heavy, like a master or something like that. You know, like. But it got a little bit of weight to it. Um. It's. The sound is it. It got some sound to it, but it's not like stupid loud. You know. It was harder to do the back of my hair at first because this is a little more bulky, especially more than my JRL, right? So when I was in the back, it was just like a little bit more, I don't know, just felt a little more difficult to hold this. I was just afraid I was gonna drop it, but it, it's not slippery. For it to be this shape, which is like kind of odd to me because this is where Jero kind of got their shape from. Like just quotation marks, you know what I'm saying? They got their inspiration from the original bevel trimmer, right? But it was comfortable like this. I don't feel like it's gonna slip on my hair or anything. It feels it felt secure in my hand. Like I was just trying to make sure I was gonna like do the line straight. I don't feel like it was gonna slip at all. I felt real comfortable with it in my hand. Feels secure. Blase blase, right? Um, the battery life, it was on full. Now it's right here. And I probably took like two hours to do that because I remember a lot of y'all. I was cutting slow. I was watching my podcast and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway. So as far as it, the blade for the trimmer. Works good. Like I said, this clipper, as far as I know, is made for, you know what I'm saying, your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's made for your boy. You feel what I'm saying? It's made for your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's a black-owned company. That's why I see all these black people in the box and stuff like that. But yeah. So I don't know how it's going to be like with really big bulk because I don't have a lot of hair. But I don't see this being an issue with bulk. I really don't. It cuts good as far as the cutting blade. This blade, you can also adjust this blade. This is a trimmer blade, but you can you can still adjust it. Make sure y'all watch my unboxing. You can zero gap it. Just like that. That's all. That's all you gotta do. Well, let's zero gap. Okay, open it up a little bit. Open it up a little bit. Open it. Like I said, you can... You can do one and all the way open. You know what I'm saying? You can. That's why I love this. A lot of people feel like probably it's always gonna take forever to do a haircut. Like it will just take some getting used to because we've never got a clipper like this. Clipper slash trimmer all at one. We've never gotten anything like this. So I know a lot of people gonna say, "Oh, it's, it's gonna take a long time to adjust." I'm gonna say that for a whole other video because I ain't for this video. But as far as the blade, it, it knocks down. Y'all see it balled me out real good. Um, I will say. If I look, if you look really close, it didn't get the hairs all the way super, super low. 
You can still see some. I'm not done with the haircut. I'm gonna still hit it with the razor. And if you already hit it with a razor when you do all your cuts, this ain't gonna matter. I don't have any irritation right here. When I did all this area, all my neck area, all the parts that used to be sensitive when I like zero got mother clippers, um, right here, psh, good. No irritation, all comfortable. Let me see. Usually this would be like a, a, a part of your neck that you're like, oh my gosh, if my, my uh, clippers are too zeroed out, it's gonna hurt. I just see some little hairs right here. So I'm gonna just, as I still review, Missed some hairs right here. But when you're doing this, no rotation at all. No rotation. Even on the sensitive spots, like right here, right here, like I said, I haven't put any rubbing alcohol or anything or any aftershave, I should say, not rubbing alcohol, any aftershave on it yet. Right here is my sensitive spots, right here, here, right here, behind the neck, right here. With this, no issues, even when it's all the way zero zero. No issues at all. Like, that's amazing for me. Like, because I'm like usually like, oh, it's like hurt. You know what I'm saying? So, comfortability, 10 out of 10. Good cut, all that stuff. Now, it's not going to cut you low, like as in like using a razor. So, if you're expecting like razor low, you're not going to get that. But, like I said, this is made... For us, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna just keep it real. Black owns, made for. They do a lot of other pro they have a lot of other products to help with help with ingrown hairs. So I'm pretty sure they made sure they got this enough when they manufactured this, when it goes all the way down to zero zero, that it's not gonna cut too low. Cause we are prone to ingrown hair. So it's not gonna give you that fresh, smooth type of shade that you might look for that like in a shaver or a really I'm sure that hits hits, but if you hit it in the wrong place, it's gonna cut or leave redness and stuff like that. This ain't for that, but it do, it does its job. I'm like, I'm I'm cool with I'm cool with how that works like that. I'm still gonna hit this with the razor because I always hit my line with a razor, even when I use my other clipper like my bad ones or whatever, which is my hitter. I always go over with a razor, so it don't ever matter. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no enhancements. If you're right here, you would never know. You would never have noticed that. I showed you that part. You would never have noticed. Like I said, it still hits. Y'all seen my hair before? It does the job. Should you buy this clipper? Should you buy this clipper? I think this is a buy. Honestly, I think this is a buy. This is for sure a buy, right? This is a buy. For me, if you ask me personally, if you ask me personally, I have a lot of clippers over here. I have a, lot, I have a, a big arsenal of clippers. This is, this is my new go-to right here. Not saying I don't like my other clippers because I got some hitters in there. My, my Rebels be hidden, my Evos, my Balance in there be hidden. I got some of uh, my Monsters be hidden. I love that Monster Shaver. Like, my Uno shaver, like, them things, like, but you have, you know, and it's a new tool, so of course it's going to be my go-to. I got to try it out and see, you know, how I like it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm supposed to do. I can't just say I have the first haircut, which is mine. I got to, you know, try on some other folks. But, of course, it's my go-to right now. It's something new. I've never tried a clipper that has a uh, electric lever adjuster. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say about that. I feel like my haircut came out nice. Y'all let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I'm gonna show y'all with the enhancements so you can see how your boy looking. And let's go ahead and get the enhancements. Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully this didn't drag on too long. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. That's that shit got this ending though. Ooh. With the enhancement. You feel me? Bar pencil. That 245. You yeah, 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 all that, all that. The boy clean, though. Oh, your boy clean. I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace. Let me crispy for work tomorrow. Ooh.